Welcome to the Eternity Mobile APM for App Developers. Using the Mobile APM platform, you can monitor and troubleshoot app crashes, isolate app errors to your code or the network, and analyze them with code level stack trace. You can also streamline the performance of your app with analytics of response time, throughput, and data transfer size, and optimize the performance of your app across device and OS versions, geographies, and carriers. In this short demonstration, we will introduce a few use cases. In most scenarios, we will typically start with the App Summary Dashboard, which provides a high-level summary view of all app performance perspectives and is usually the default screen shown right after signing in. Looking at the App Summary Dashboard on our demo environment, we first select the relevant app. For this demonstration, we will use our sample mobile application, appropriately called Sample App. The App Summary Dashboard will show us, for a selected app, the high-level performance summaries like number of unique users, number of app crashes, and data volumes. This dashboard helps mobile app developers quickly evaluate the overall state of their apps and identify areas of concern for further drill down. To drill down from this dashboard, we just need to hover above the desired metric and click on the links that show. For our demonstration, we will hover above the unique users and click on the App Analysis link, which takes us to the App Analysis Dashboard. The App Analysis Dashboard provides a performance summary of a selected mobile application. For the specified app, app version, and time frame, the dashboard shows app load, app crash, and error trends, as well as HTTP service request performance and error trends. The dashboard also provides users with the ability to break down the crashes, errors, and HTTP performance by the geographic location. Looking at the different dashboard elements, we see a high-level app summary and different trends for app loads, app crashes, app errors, and HTTP services. Focusing on app crashes, there appears to be a specific time where many app crashes have happened. Let's drill down to better understand what is going on. To drill down, we can either use the dashboard menu which is always accessible from the top left menu, or as we've seen already, hover above a relevant widget to show a pop-up with a link that drills down to another dashboard specializing in this perspective. Clicking on the App Crashes link, the App Crashes dashboard is opened, and we immediately see a more detailed trend of the crashes as well as other relevant perspectives. The Crash Groups widget on the top left immediately points out the functions and exception codes crashing the most. Note that all dashboards are interactive, and any element can be used as a filter. In this case, clicking on this large bar will filter the other data by this crash group, and we will see the operating systems and app versions on which this crash happened. Using the dropdowns, we can break down the crashes by other dimensions. Selecting models will show the crash volumes by the Apple device model, and selecting geographies will show the crash volumes by the geolocation. Note that hovering above a crash volume shows the stack trace and allows for downloading the full crash dump from the device. This data is extremely helpful for app developers as they look for the problem. After gaining a deep insight into app crashes, let's shift our focus to app errors. For the best view of app errors, we go to the app errors dashboard, either by going back to the app analysis dashboard and drilling down from there or directly using the menu. When the App Errors dashboard opens, the first thing we'll do is to extend our historical view from the last 60 minutes to today. Like the app crashes, we see that app errors have higher levels at certain times. Clicking on a spike, we filter the dashboards to only show errors occurring at this time, and there appears to be quite a few errors reported then. As we already know, all dashboard elements are interactive, and by selecting one or more of the errors, we can see the trend and breakdowns for this error only. Other than app crash and app error analysis, the Eternity Mobile APM platform is also extremely useful in analyzing HTTP service performance and errors. The two dashboards that are typically used for this analysis are the Service Performance and Service Errors dashboards, both accessible from the Dashboards menu. Looking at the Service Performance dashboard, we see the services and top URLs accessed by the app and for each service it shows the weighted and detailed statuses that are automatically calculated by the platform based on historical performance. 
Also, this dashboard features a performance trends chart and the standard breakdown widget and provides users with powerful insight into the performance of each service. While the Service Performance Dashboard focuses on general performance and response times, the Service Errors Dashboard focuses on abnormal responses and can help identify services that suffer from client-side or server-side issues affecting app usage and user experience. Like the Service Performance Dashboard, this dashboard also shows the services and worst URLs, the trend chart, and the breakdown widget. And it also shows response codes to provide a clear identification of problematic HTTP and TCP areas. Two other dashboards that can help app developers optimize the usage and data consumption of their apps are the App Usage and Data Volumes dashboards. The App Usage dashboard focuses on two complementary views, app load statistics and unique user statistics. To switch between the views, use the dropdown on the top right. Each view provides a dual breakdown to show app load and unique user volumes by two combined categories as well as a geographic view and a trend chart to understand the usage patterns over time. The Data Volumes dashboard, on the other hand, is focused on data usage and provides summaries, trends, and breakdowns that help developers understand how their app is using data across different dimensions. Please refer to the detailed mobile APM documentation for a more thorough guidance of use cases and dashboards. Note that the sample app that we used for this demo is accessible to you at all times, and you can always select it to see a continuous stream of sample data to demonstrate the usage and value.